Hello everyone. Assalamu alaikum wa ta'ala wa barakatuhu. This is Mariam Emsu. Welcome back to my podcast. We're keeping it real here. So I've been recording for the past, I don't know. I know I discarded about 10 records, but inshallah, I'm definitely going to post this one. So today, um, I was actually thinking I could find someone we could talk together with but i couldn't find anyone turns out everyone is busy and i don't want to keep you guys waiting long without listening to my voice (laughs) yes i'm sure most of you love me and you love my voice and you don't want to miss me so let's talk about self-love today i love myself self-love means having high regard for your own well-being and happiness self-love is like not sacrificing your own well-being to please others Self-love means taking care of your own needs. Self-love is not settling for less. You, When you love yourself, you don't settle for less. You go for what you deserve because you are enough. Many people do confuse self-love with being as, with, with having a big ego or being a narcissist. But no. Self-love is not that. Self-love means settling. Like when you don't settle for less than you deserve. Self-love does not mean like when you think you are the most talented or you are the most smartest or you are the most beautiful person in the world. No. Self-love means knowing that you have flaws but you love and accept your flaws because you know they are who you are you accept your weakness you appreciate your weakness you appreciate your shortcomings and you love yourself like that because you are who you are and no one can change you when you love yourself you have compassion for yourself that is self-love And also, guys, when you don't love yourself, nobody can love you. So you have to love yourself. You have to love yourself for who you are. You have to see the weakness in you and accept them and say, yes, this is me. This is Mariam. And I'm loving Mariam for who she is. I'm accepting Mariam for who she is. I'm not trying to change Mariam to please others. I will never change myself to please anyone. So, guys... Look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself, you are beautiful. You are enough. You are worthy. Love yourself. Love yourself. You have to love yourself. And loving yourself is not about instant gratification. It's a continuous process, guys. You need to love yourself. It is a practice. It, it, uh, it is a skill. It takes work. Loving yourself is not easy. It's not easy, especially when you grow in a household that lacks, like, love. It takes it takes time to love yourself. So I am sure most people don't really know what self-love is. But with time, with believing in yourself, you are going to get it. But you need to love yourself. You should love yourself. It is an advice from me to you to try as much as you can to love yourself. So you can start, you have to start somewhere, right? You can start by telling yourself something really, really positive every single day. You can tell yourself how well you handle a situation, maybe a situation that happened yesterday. You can praise yourself for how well you handled it. You can tell yourself how lovely you are looking today. Anything that will make you smile, just make yourself smile. It's a way forward. You can also surround yourself with people who love and encourage you. You And also, you need to know the difference between people who love and encourage you. People that will be there for you no matter what. And people that are only there for you because of something you have or something you are. So surround yourself with positive people, people have people that have positive vibes. People that will always remind you how amazing you are. Stop comparing yourself to others. Never compare yourself to others. There is no one on this planet that is like you. Allah made you you. You are unique. 
You are a masterpiece. Allah made you who you are. You are Allah's masterpiece. There is no one on this planet like you. So you cannot, you can never compare yourself to someone else. The only person you should compare yourself to is you. If you have a toxic relationship, end it. End that toxic relationship. Anyone who makes you anything, anyone who makes you feel anything less than amazing does not deserve to be part of your life. Anyone who brings you down does not deserve to be part of your life. Cut that toxic relationship. End it now. Step outside of your comfort zone. Try something new. Just try something new. I'm sure you would be happy when you try something new. Embrace and love the things that make you different. This is what makes you special. Yes, I am tall. It makes me special. I am black. It makes me special. I am I am dumb in my own way. It makes me special. And I embrace it. So embrace and love yourself. Realize that beauty cannot be defined. Beauty can never be defined. When you see when you see let's say some people love orange and some people love green. I might see green as beautiful, but you might never see green as beautiful. You might only see orange as beautiful. So beauty, as um someone said, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. That is what beauty is. And be patient. You have to be patient. Self-love is ever-evolving. It's something that needs to be practiced daily, but can take a lifetime to master. So be kind and support yourself through the hard times. Be mindful of what you think, feel, and want. Live your life in ways that truly reflect what you feel, think, and like. Also, while you are at loving yourself, treat others with love and respect. It makes us feel better about ourselves when we treat others with love and respect. When you treat others the way you want to be treated, that doesn't mean everybody will repay the favor, though. Some people... You just can't please some people. There is no pleasing with some people. So, and when you don't please someone, it is their problem. It is never your problem. Something is wrong with them. Something is not wrong with you. I will end this by telling you to also follow your passion. You know that thing that that gets you so excited, but you are scared? You are scared at the same time. You don't think you can do it. It makes you so happy and excited. The thing you really want to do, but you have convinced yourself it won't work. You should do that. You should do that. Follow your passion. As I am following mine. So I just want to create awareness and I hope this podcast help. I hope it will help you inshallah. My Nigerian girls, my Ariwa girls, my Meduguri girls, my Zaria, Kaduna, Ariwa, wherever you are, you are loved. I love you so much. You are loved. If you are listening to this, you are loved. You have someone that loves you. Please look at yourself in the mirror and say, I am beautiful. I am intelligent. I am loved. And I am enough. Thank you very much for listening to my podcast. Love you all. Bye.